Okay, thanks for joining us once again for our last segment here. We're going to finish off our boat scene. I hope you're following us if you are painting. And we're going to go into our brush now, just to tidy up our boat. We've got the, the body of the boat in there, and we've done that with a knife, of course. And now I'm just going to go over that with a brush. So just to fill in that, we want this nice and dark. So we've got that silhouette happening against the... That nice light background we've got, it's going to look great. It's going to stand right out. We might even put some lights on the boat reflecting in the water. We'll see how we go. Get a bit of a chance to do that, we will. Okay, so I'm just putting that paint in there, getting it in nice and thick, covering that area. I want it nice and dark. Here we go. That's looking good. Okay, get it even with your brush. And just going to fan that out there with that brush so we've got that reflection there. Get a bit of that in as well. We've got the cabin. And we can actually get our fan brush now and just gently, very gently fan that sideways. Now the, the real secret to this is to not get that paint too thick. Anytime you put paint in the water or paint to, re, to resemble water, don't get that paint too thick because when you go to do this, you're going to make a big mess. In fact, mine is probably just a little bit too thick there, so I'm just being real careful what I do. That's fine. In fact, I can get a little bit of that shape of that boat looking a little bit better just with the fan brush. doesn't matter how you do it. Tr always try all your brushes. You've got to find out what your brushes are going to do for you. So you need to know which one to select when you need it. So just leave that. That's looking good. I'm just going to tidy up our cabin a little bit. And put in our stays and rigging and it's all going to come together very shortly. So get that up a little bit. Our lights in the cabin, we can put one in there, one towards the back. Uh, while I've got this brush, we can actually put our sail in there. So, sails down, and they've just got sitting out, ready to throw it up and go for a sail. There we go. So, just make that look a bit realistic, a little bit round in that. That's the way. We can put a little bit of light on there as well. When we get that dark on, because you'll always have a little bit of light in there. Okay. Pretty well lit. Okay, we've got that reflecting in the water as well. We can put that in there. A bit of a reflection from the sail. Okay, we're going to go straight into our knife. I'm going to spread our paint out and we're going to pick it up right on the edge of the knife there, if you can see that. And very gently, I'm going to start putting in the rigging. So I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to go straight down to the bow. You can always come back over this with the knife later, if you like, with the brush, sorry. But I find the knife is great for getting these lines in. So here we go. So we're going to get our basics of the rigging in. You don't have to see all of it. All we want is a hint of it. If you did every one and made them stand out, it would probably ruin the painting because... We want to look at the boat itself and not so much the rigging. Rigging is like a, a secondary thing in the picture, so we don't want it to stand out too much. Okay, so we're just getting our stays in there. And a little bit of a mark there where we've got our... And one up the top as well. So don't worry about it too much. Cover those up, give it a little bit of light on there. I'm going to go straight into our liner, dip it in our oil, and just tidy up some of those little spots. We can even put a bow spit or anything you like on there. doesn't matter. Play around with it. Try different things. So we've got our pulpit there. We can put the railing up around our boat as well. Nice and safe. Keep everybody on board. There we go. Just bring that down into that light there. Just so we can see that little bit. We can even get a little bit of a bow spit if you like. There we go. And up there as well. So very gently bring your brush right across. You can do this with a knife too if you like. If you don't feel confident, don't forget you got the one on the other side as well. So put two in. 
and just make sure that reflection looks right there. That's looking good. Bit of colour there, we'll get rid of that. Okay, just tidy up the stern there. There we go, that's looking all right. And notice I've got a little bit of black paint over there, or dark paint on the canvas. Get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to run a few lines through here. And with our knife, of course, a bit of that yellow ochre right there at the bow. Just breaks that painting up from the, the background. There we go. So we've broken it up from the uh, reflection, sorry. So that looks great. Here we go. So we can just put a few lines in here now where they're out in the in the light in the sunshine. They're going to be lighter, of course, and behind they're going to be a little bit darker. So we can go into our reds and oranges and get those colours in. Just going through the mast and that always looks better when you get those lines through things because it makes it look more realistic, makes it look more like water. Okay, we can go over that. A little bit of light there as well. Put in our, our uh, anchor because it looks as if they're anchored up. Of course, the sail's down. There she is. And don't forget the reflection. Looking good. We'll just tidy up a few things here. And maybe highlight a couple of those things in the rigging because. They look great when you can see the light against the dark, so you can just give that a little flick with your liner just to get those lines in there. And it's starting to look all right. Okay, well, it's just about finished, actually. So we're going to get a little bit of colour in here now, like that, like a cabin light. Don't worry about it too much. We'll get it in the water. Because you're going to get that light reflecting in the water there. And we can even put a little one. I don't know if you see it, but just put that light up the top there. One there as well. And even put one on the stern. There we go. Just put a couple of people in here now. And don't forget, all these paintings are for sale. So you can check them out online. And if you purchase any of these paintings, don't forget all that money goes to the RACQ Care Flight, so it's a great course. And uh, there's not too many left that we've uh, done from the show that, have, that haven't sold, so that's a great thing. So just tidying those cabin lights up a little bit. And we might even see if we can put a boat or something back in the background there. Maybe just a little bit of light. We better give it a signature actually before we go too much further. A lot of fun. We've introduced so many people to painting and, and they're just having a fantastic time. So get into it. Don't forget we've got the kits available if you want to give it a go. So you've got all the brushes and knives and everything that you see me use here. So you don't have to go out and hunt and find the right ones. And we're just about ready to put the, the frame on it. Just before we do, we're going to give it a little bit of depth. And by doing that, I can Put a couple of boats back in the distance there. Okay, just need their reflection. That's all we need, just a little hint. What I'm going to do is put the frame on here, see how she looks. Should come up fine. Nice coloured frame too, suits that perfectly. Look, finished product, great little uh, exercise to uh, play around with. Um, and look, it looks great. Full framed up, ready to go. Have a go at that one. And uh, look, we look forward to seeing you next time on Art Studio. Bye.